Stop spinning, you fucking ghost. Spooky season is over. Now it's November, so we need to talk about something different, something seasonal, something for the holidays, you know what I mean? Uh, I feel like, wait, today's November, Google? Okay, Google, what's today's date? It is Monday, November 16th, 2020. When was Metal Gear Solid 3 released? Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater's initial release date is November 17th, 2004. What's tomorrow's date? It is Tuesday, November 17th, 2020. Thank you, Google. Glad you found me helpful. Let me know if there's anything I can do. That's all for today. Thank you. You know what that means. Uh, we're going to talk about Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater for the PS2, Xbox 360, Xbox One, because that's what I have. Okay, so this is a scene that I picked out that's my favorite amongst the whole game. It's very early in the game. It's not the start of it. It's like 30 minutes in, around there. This cutscene happens, and it, it establishes the whole game. It shows your character in a certain position that we usually don't see Snake in. And it's he's very emotional. He's very exposed. He's... He's fragile here. He's damaged. And uh, this just shows another depth of character that we never really saw him in. And it just sets base. It sets the foundation of the rest of the game. It really does. And it also introduces a uh, boss, the boss, and why she's the boss. She's the shit. And she's my favorite character. She's my favorite female character next to Meryl oh, uh, in the whole Metal Gear saga. So let's just start, and uh, fair warning, this sp sp fucking spoiler alert, this game's been out for 16 years. You had 16 years to play this amazing, amazing game, and you, you got no excuse for it. It came out for uh, PS2, PS3, I don't think you play on PS4, but it came out for PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, you had, and now I'm pretty sure you could play on Xbox Series X. You could play it on there now. So, like, really got no reason why you're not playing this amazing game. But, uh, yeah, that was a warning. So don't, don't go in the comments sharing hate. Like, come on. Oh, let me skip this, because this is just explaining the Shadow of HUD and all this other shit. little bit mm. right here sorry just want to get to the good shit I knew she was a shit in this little scene and wow how powerful she is Great voice actor, by the way. Uh, Lori Allen? I Boss. think, yeah. That's your name. No. Look at that. Snake maintained his balance. Uh, he fell on his ass, and she's perfectly fine. Good work. She's the shit. Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me. What the fuck? And oh yeah, it shows the the cobras. And this is a great way to to uh, introduce them. The hornets. Hornets. Who the fuck is this guy? Uh, he's cool as fuck. Probably one of my favorites. Next to the end. Probably one of my favorites. Yeah. And the burn. I think I think that's how Metal Box is It's been a while. I haven't played one of your Saw it three. Been stuck on Resident Evil. My 
my friends. Let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with hey. you once more. Grumpy. Raspy voice. Welcome back. Love this dude. Boss. Now that all five of us are together, it's time we go to the depths of hell itself. It's raining blood. The Is chemistry for these two people and their history and backstory, fucking awesome. Kuabara, 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 Kuabara. Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogel. Because she's the joy. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. Boss, what is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift from my new hosts. His Recoilless face, like, nuclear warheads. Disbelief. Like, no, boss. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? How badass do you have to be to say shit like that and to do this? I would be crying more than he streaked right there in pain. He's seen my face. We can't let him live. Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. He must die. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. <clears throat> Jack, you can't come with us. That's the last time I think he trusted her. And right here is like, I'm grabbing a little piece of you because you're always with me. Now, on to Sokolov's research facility. Shagohad is ours. Drift away. 
My place is with them now. <laughs> Such a good scene. Oh, wow. Um, that alone, you don't need to watch this. It's just part of the game now. But, uh, just that scene alone. Uh, this one is even my favorite part. When you see this person, if this is the first time playing your game, you're like, wow, who the fuck? A ghost? Like, what the hell? Later on, they explain who and what he is and all this other good shit. But this just. Jesus. Thank you for this uh, YouTuber that uploaded this. He, uh, he did a great job on this 4K. Uh, I don't think it is 60 frames. Oh, it is 60 frames. Nice. I was like, it's buttery smooth, but I think the game is buttery smooth too. But man, this, you know, you deserve more views than that. And hey, remember 2019? <laughs> That's such a great year compared to this one. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to check it out yourself, just uh, type in this title of the video right here. And yeah, you can see it in your own TV, your own, you know, your own setup. But uh, yeah, this has to be one of my favorite scenes amongst the whole game. Compared, compared to the ending, the ending fucking blows everything else out of the water. But this... It's the start of the game. That's why it's... I think that's why it hits me more... Stronger than the ending itself. The ending is sad as fuck. But this is like... Wow, this is the game. Story-wise... Okay, this is cool. And I need to do more. I need to play the rest of the game. And uh, not a lot of games do that from the start. Uh, not a lot of games have a great start. Um... A great start, I believe, would be. Uh, let me see. Um, Mass Effect is kind of slow. Mass Effect 2. That was a great start to the whole fucking thing. Uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake. That was a good start to the game. Uh, what else? Not that many that I could think of. Uh, Coulter, Knights of the Republic. That was a great start for me as a Star Wars fan. That was a great start. But uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, I think that is the best start next to Metal Gear Solid 1. Ooh, that was a great start, too. I think which starts better? I think all Metal Gears started really well. Metal Gear Solid 1 had the Shadow Moses, the, the little oh, hangar you're underwater. That, that was awesome. Metal Gear Solid 2, the tanker. When you're playing a snake, that's fucking amazing. And then here, Metal Gear Solid 3. Uh, I never played Metal Gear Solid 4. I never had a PS3, and I guess... Because right now I have a PS4, and... I think the only way to play it is to stream it, and that's... I don't want to do that. I feel like that's, that's going to fuck up my experience. Um... I think that's the only Metal Gear game that's going to get away from me because I'm not going to buy a PS3 just to play one game. Maybe if it's like 50 bucks down the road, maybe someday. <laughs> right now, I, I still see it for like a hundred something bucks and I'm like, why? I, I, I know why, because some of the uh, PS3s could play all the way to PS1 because the backwards compatibility, but that's why they were so expensive. So, I'll buy the newer ones. I don't give a shit. And just play the, that one game when, they're, when it's like 50 bucks. I'll do that. But, I'm not, oh, sorry. But I, I got no plans to do that. Um, Metal Gear Solid 5 had a good start. Uh, hmm. But I think Solid 3 stick with me more, to be honest. Not gonna lie. But uh, thank you for checking out this video and um, just going down memory lane with me on this amazing game that is 16 years old. And we're, I I'm still playing it to this day. I'm sure there's still people playing it to this day. This dude made a video in 2019 about this. Um, Metal Gear Solid 3. Let me 
gonna be like, this is up. I'm gonna filter it through this week. Yeah, people are still playing it. They're streaming it. Um, yeah, to this day, people are still playing this amazing game and it's for a good, good reason. Metal Gear Solid 2, people are still playing that. You know what, let me type in Metal Gear Solid. Filter this week. Still playing Metal Gear Solid One. That's that's awesome. Good for them. Playing amazing games still to this fucking day. People still streaming it. I'm so happy. That that's I don't like this thumbnail because that's weird. But I'm not I'm not gonna judge. But um, I'm so glad people are playing this amazing game. Because it has an amazing story that sticks with you. I played this when I was little on the PS1. And here I am now playing it on my... Um, this is the only way I could play Metal Gear Solid 1. And it's on my uh, PS1 Classic. This I got for 20 bucks, so don't feel bad for me. I didn't pre-order this. I didn't buy it without the hype. This was on sale at a Target. <laughs> So yeah, this is the only way I could play it. I don't like to emulate it because I don't physically have the game. I did at one point, and I like now I don't. I'm, I'm sad now, but yeah, I play it on the PS1 Classic. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this and uh, going down memory lane with me on this fantastic game. Um, happy anniversary, Better Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. All right, take it easy. Peace. Be safe.